Berlin club scenes have a strict no-photo policy. But how can you document the thriving Berlin cultural scene without being able to take pictures? Well, our guest tonight, Ahula, goes into these clubs armed with digital drawing tools and documents a little bit about what happens in these nightclubs. That started uh, due to all of those um, strong impressions during all of those nights. Mm -hmm. That one day I just sat in Halle am Berghain and I was just thinking about uh, getting something out of there and just grabbing something with me, capture something of this moment, something of this impressive interior. Mm -hmm. And I just started sketching on my phone. It's really about those uh, short and intense moments. It's not about standing there for hours uh, like in your studio. It's, it's more like a fast sketch within 5, 10, 15 minutes. All of those moments when you're waiting on the bar for a drink too long mm -hmm. or when a, when a track gets a bit slow or mm -hmm. you're just relaxing in some corner and seeing something that uh, is interesting. How, how do people react of seeing you standing there drawing for 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, so just getting overwhelming reactions yeah. everywhere. So just um, last weekend, uh, people are coming. Uh, can I ask you one thing? What are you doing there? And recently, um, Architecture Journal asked me to do an uh, illustration uh, for a feature next year. So it's getting kind of popular, yeah. What do you feel It's the difference of, of drawing clubs here and outside of Berlin, where there's not so strict, no photo policy maybe? In the end, it's just about the impression itself. It happens on the street, it happens on festivals as well, where, where there are no rest restrictions mm -hmm. at all. So it's more like uh, reference or equivalence to the 19th century plein air painting. So just get out there wherever it is, if it's inside, outside, just have your studio right with you anytime. And then you had your ninth exhibition, was mm -hmm. it? Tenth exhibition now in, in Paris. Uh, how did you start this from, from going maybe from a, a more approach of where you were drawing for yourself towards uh, awakening the interest of galleries? With all the channels you can use, you can promote it anytime. So nowadays the, the artist becomes promoter mm -hmm. and photographer and journalist and social as, media manager yeah, yeah, and PR. Uh, uh, as in, in any other uh, business section as well. And so I just started out doing that and people recognize that. And so one comes to the other. Okay, and the clubs themselves, even these clubs that do not uh, accept photography, they're, they're getting interested in your work as well. They're using mm -hmm. it for flyers and advertising. Sure. Uh, how was the, the feedback from the clubs? It was mostly about artists um, that are playing in clubs and then there's always a connection between that. So people find it interesting or fitting for that. And it's not just clubs, it's exhibitions as well, because it seems to be a special niche still after uh, it, three it, years. It certainly awakens the curiosity.